Welcome back. I'm Mike Brown, and this is episode 12 of Worlds Collide. This is another one of our summer series where they're bite-sized, shorter episodes, so I hope you enjoy it. This one's a cool courtroom drama, so let's just jump right in. So you guys are all in, basically, Ryan will recognize this. Gar will also recognize this. It looks very much like the Galactic Senate. Got it. Ah. You are just these tiny little people on a platform and seemingly thousands of people are in front of you. And you have your own little pod that the four of you are seated in. Aladan is alone in a separate pod, and you also see Stone Street. And I said the four of you, that includes Lairn, so the five of you. And a very important looking guy just comes up to the front, and he's just like, Civil League versus Outsider number 72,401. Grand Commander Jonathan Stone Street stands up. Thank you, esteemed adjudicators, and good afternoon. I stand before you today to argue the case for a civilized and growing society. People are scared. They're jumpy and reactionary. The general public is a danger to itself when presented with information that requires deep thought. You know all of this. That's why there's a restricted section in the Great Library. It is my dream to see a thriving society. Every inch of the world covered in bustling cities with happy people spending their days lifting each other up. A society where leaders are a distant memory and all govern themselves with righteousness and piety. The information below the library should never be available to the public, and we have no idea what this stranger would do with it. What kind of knowledge do you want falling into the hands of the farmers, the barmaids, and the cobblers? Hmm? The sheath? The destroyers? What would people do if they knew about the now-tamed evils of the world? That is why we must make no exceptions when it comes to applying the hammer of the law to trespassing in the library's restricted sections. We need to make sure people know it is not worth the risk. Their happiness depends on it. Furthermore, he attacked several monks, stewards of the forbidden knowledge, and said some uncouth words. He claims to be sent by the Synod, but I think we know who his deeds more closely reflect. And his gnarled walking stick suggests he may be affiliated with those terrorists from the Moss. He needs to be imprisoned and prevented from sharing what he learned. The safety of our people requires it. And you kind of hear thunderous applause. Thank you. And turns around and walks back to his little pod looking smug AF. And the important looking dude who sounds like Walter Cronkite (laughs) is like, is there any defense for the defendant? Um, Niatu kind of gets everyone into a little huddle and is like, okay, this is our chance. Make sure nobody is argumentative and just speak on Aladan's intentions. I think maybe we could get him out of here. And then Niatu turns around and says, we would like to speak on Aladan's behalf. He just I gestures. <laughs> he, he just gestures towards the the middle where you can t- where Stone Street was. I yeah, do you have to explain the gods? Uh, Laren is just like, do your own improv. (laughs) (laughs) Hello. Thank you all for your time. I'm sure everyone in this room has noticed that things are starting to seem a little strange in this world. Things are happening that you've never seen happen before. And it is clear through what is going on around that this world is dying. The gods needed 
to make a desperate action, and they took me and my cohorts here away from our home worlds with the instructions to try and save this world. We are here to try to save all of you. I understand this sounds hard to believe, but Aladan is the academic of our group, and he was simply trying to find answers as to why your world is dying. So he does not deserve to be put away forever. He deserves to be let go in order for all of us to continue to help save this world that you hold so dear. Thank you. Okay. Woo! Just, what, what she said! What she said! <laughs> If that is all the defense has. Anyone? Um, I'm just trying to think of what else I can add. Laren will take the stand. And he's just like, uh, hello, Senate. You all know me. And you know that I don't really spend time among derelicts or degenerates, as you might say. And uh, this Aladan, he absolutely stepped out of line. I'm not going to try to tell you that he did not break the law. However, it would be seriously detrimental to my mission from Eun, by the way. Remember, I'm the one you know has been, has been talking to her. It would be very detrimental to my mission if he was imprisoned here forever. <laughs> <laughs> So that is my plea to you. I am not here to try to tell you that he did not do what he did because he clearly did it. Uh, but his intentions were pure. And I can personally promise you that anything he found out down there will not leave the confidence of our little group. At that point, the big main important adjudicator is just like, all right, I think we've heard enough from both sides. I hope you like my changing voice. <laughs> <laughs> I do it a little different every time to keep them guessing. <laughs> it stopped being Cronkite and started being the Grinch doing Cronkite. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, the members of the Senate will now cast their votes. The charge is acquisition of forbidden knowledge. And since it has been admitted to several times... Guilt is assumed. So we will be voting on the sentence. He will either be imprisoned for life or will spend the next year doing community service, working in the library. Away from the forbidden section. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I've got here is two D20s and a D8. So one to 14 community service. 15 to 28, prison. We're just saying goodbye to Aladdin. <laughs> Seven, seven, four. So all together need to be less than 15? Yeah. Damn it. So that's 18. Why so that now going? we roll initiative and we fight every person in that Senate. Like, what do we do now? I did prepare a battle in case you wanted to fight them, but I will tell you, you, you will lose? all die. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But in case you wanted to, I prepared it, Baldur's <laughs> Gate style. <laughs> and so the main guy comes out and he's like, the sentence has been handed down as prison. And what? you see his little pod kind of just jet off. Like, he's gone. Uh, but Oh, bye. And you hear all of a sudden an explosion and everyone starts looking around like something's wrong. And you notice kind of at your seven thirty, eight o'clock, some rubble. And there's now a hole in the Senate and everyone starts to scream. And like they're looking around like things are crazy. What is going on? Where is Aladdin? Oh. Laren. Aladdin's gone. Laren is like, I do not know what that is, but uh, let's get out of here. And he starts to run. I follow him. Yeah, same. He knows where he's going. Laren gets to the front of the building and you basically <laughs> see a group of six people that look out of the ordinary. Two of them seem to be like kind of still bringing their hands down, like tired, like they just cast a very big spell. Mm -hmm. Reminder, we're outside now, mm -hmm. so magic does work. And they each have kind of like two lackeys with them who are just like on alert, making sure nobody can get to them. 
And you hear Stone Street run up behind you. And he's like, those six, get them. They need to be in jail too. I will let Aladan go. Oh, okay. (laughs) All right, new mission. Okay. Okay. Should we negotiate that he has to let Mushy go too? If you would like to talk, you can, but we're going to roll initiative first, and these guys are going to start running before you talk. Everybody roll initiative. Worlds Collide is Alyssa Brown as Niatu, Alex Brown as N64, Mo, Ryan Brown as Gar, Melina Agbanyo as Myla, and me, Mike Brown, as the Game Master. Sound design, editing, and mixing done by Mike Brown for Amber Studios, LLC. Our theme music is Epic Adventure by MS Records. More info can be found in the show notes. And our next episode drops on July 23rd. And we get to experience a bit more of this chase that is coming up. So I hope you enjoy it. But until then, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. 